Hi pilots, John Zimmerman with Sporties here with four tips to make your home flight simulator flying more productive. Flight Sim is hot right now with new programs like Microsoft Flight Simulator and with new controls like the Honeycomb Alpha and Bravo hitting the market over the last couple years, it's never been easier to build a really great home sim. But if you forget some important tips, it can become mostly about having fun and playing a game with very little training value. So here are four things to look for. First, make sure you have the right gear. While you can fly a sim like this with just a keyboard and a mouse, it's a terrible way to use it for training. We recommend at least a yoke and rudder pedals, and a throttle quadrant should get some serious consideration too. The closer it is to the airplane you fly, the more your learning will transfer. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars on this, but make sure you have at least the essentials. Second, use your tablet with your simulator. A lot of pilots don't know you can use popular apps like ForeFlight and Garmin Pilot directly with Microsoft or X-Plane. It's either built in out of the box or can be accomplished with a free add-on, and it really takes training to the next level of reality because then you can learn the latest new features in an app, you can check out a new app you haven't used before, and you can fly across country while watching your plane move along the screen on your iPad. Really great way to make your flying in the simulator just like the real thing. Third, use a checklist when you fly your simulator. It might seem weird to be running a full checklist and flipping switches, but it's actually a great way to increase the realism of your simulator. So if you're flying a Cessna 172 for flight training and you're flying a Cessna 172 in the sim, go ahead and run that checklist, flip the switches if you have them, do your typical flows. Train like you fly and fly like you train. That includes the pre-flight stuff. Finally, get a full weather briefing before you fly your sim and then turn on live weather. This is a great way to improve your weather decision-making skills without adding risk. Plan a flight and then go fly it in the sim and see what it looks like. Thanks for joining us, and you can find more tips like this at sporties.com.